obviously you had a pretty strong performance. You know, how do you think you can carry that momentum into this Colorado game? Um, I would say just continuing to execute and get better at the little things in practice and just keep moving forward so we can progress and be just as good or even better on Saturday. What have you seen from Devin and his improvement the last couple of weeks? Because he wasn't even playing mm -hmm. a month ago, and, and now he's back-to-back -back games. He's had really good games for you guys. Um, he's been very good in practice, a uh, great teammate. He is a, he's a really good leader. Um, and he's just been playing really hard in practice. He's been doing his things. He's been paying attention very good with attention to detail. So I think that's been a leading cause in what's going on right now. When teams jump off sides like they, they do and you throw that deep ball, is that the guy you're supposed to look at? Or is it just kind of find someone and just chuck it? I mean, he's a, he's a mismatch, uh, especially for size. So, I mean, that would be the go-to. Right. Were you expecting him to jump as much as they did off sides? I think we only got one penalty um, where I was able to throw it, um, but the other ones, they move so much, um, it's, it's going to happen eventually. Uh, so yeah, it was bound to happen. How much does it affect specifically what you do when you guys are losing so many offensive linemen to injury like you did on Saturday? I think you had three go down in the span of an hour. Um, I wouldn't say it, it affects anything. Um, Coach Mary Ball does a wonderful job with them in preparing the younger guys to get ready for any situation like Saturday, of course. And it's just next man up mentality. So, when you see a guy like Austin go in and shuffling at both guard spots. Just, just how impressive is that? How hard is it for a guy to do something like that? Um, Dawson, is, he, he works his tail off. Um, he also was in there against Ohio State, one of the best defense linemen in the country. So, like, things like that, I think people don't take into account. Um, these guys do have snaps. They do have great reps against great players. So, just them moving around and them understanding what is going on in their position or what else is going around around them uh, is really important. And they, they really take and they really take advantage of that. Seems like Ryan's been kind of seamless transition mm -hmm. at center. Had you guys had before Alex went down a lot of experience doing that? I mean, is that something where you need to develop chemistry and, and talk about um, that? We didn't have a lot of experience together uh, before this, but um, it's rolling right now and it's moving really well. So. Warhead said Saturday's game against UCLA was one of the best he's seen from, from Ryan Walk here at Oregon. And at center, you typically don't know if he does well. You know when he does bad, gets a snap mm -hmm. the ball over your head or bad snaps. Like, yeah. Can you put into context just what he did that was so impressive for you guys? Um, handling the move calls right in front of his face. Uh, the nose was making his move calls. He's moving around a lot. Uh, from there to understanding what is in front of him, what fronts, and what our blocking schemes are, uh, he was he did a hell of a job. So, uh, what your team you talks about the one and zero uh, process each week. Just talk about what that means to you, and also how do you able to just kind of avoid this extra distractions? Out um, noise? I would say just controlling what I can control. Um, and the same thing goes for my teammates. We all just focus on what we need to focus on, whether it's practice, uh, film study, extra work, um, whatever the case may be. Uh, just taking everything in and being one to know at every rep, everything we do. So that's really that. What have you seen from Micah in particular? Because this was a career high in receptions from mm -hmm. this past game. Was there something that either he did differently during the game, just got more open, or just the way the game plan came together? It's just the way the game plan came together. What has he been doing maybe even differently or improved on in practice over the last month or so? I mean, even from the beginning of the season, Micah has been great in practice. So uh, it was bound for this to happen for him, and I'm, I'm really proud of him. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it's going to keep going. Who did you go up to right after the game? Oh, uh, Coach Fry. He was there with me at BC, I want to say, in 2018. 2018, 2017, before uh, he left and went to UCLA. Uh, he was an offensive line coach there, uh, and I really love Coach Fry. So we talked for a little bit, and then we just said our goodbyes, and we're going to eventually connect with each other down the road. And the people you spoke with last week, was Kenny Pickett among them? <laughs> no, but Kenny is my dog. We, uh, we've been playing against each other, with each other, since we were like eight years old. Uh, so I'm really happy for him right now, and I'm not surprised with, about what he's doing right now, and I'm proud of him. Defensively, Colorado statistically is, is one of the stronger in the conference. Yes. What have you seen from them that allows them to do that? 
Um, they are very powerful. Um, they have some really good talent on defense, and they play really hard. So uh, they're not going to fool you with anything, but they are going to play you nose up, and they're just going to try to, um, I would say, just overpower you. We had a little time to watch the film. What stood out from Saturday? What things do you feel like you did really well and maybe areas for improvement personally? Um, I would say just attention to detail. Uh, like we talked about last week, uh, UCLA, they do a lot uh, from a blitz standpoint. Uh, but one thing I, I would say I could could have done better in the game was sitting in the pocket a little bit longer um, and trusting getting open and as well as the, the rush initially in the beginning of the game. So that was that. Can you walk me through the 43-yard touchdown and maybe what you saw? I know DJ sets, he was kind of your lead blocker there and cleaned mm -hmm. some stuff up, but what, what kind of was your, your process there? Um, just a simple read, read the mic, he ran with the running back on the swing, and I followed DJ and just basically it was a two-way go and the safety made the decision for me. So I just took off inside of him. You know, Anthony, after going against a team like UCLA that likes to blitz, give you guys a lot of different looks, that's another road matchup that has been, you know, a lot of your guys' tough games has been coming on the road so far. Mm -hmm. Coming back to Austin, how do you think that road experience is going to help you guys? Um, it's always good to go to a place like the Rose Bowl and play against a really good team like UCLA and then be able to come out on top, come back home, and just got to continue that momentum and just keep playing hard. All right, thanks, A.B. Thank you. Appreciate it.